Ladies, hi, welcome to my bedroom. I'm doing a quick getting ready with me. I'm gonna just show off my halo, show how I put it in, just show the difference it makes to how I feel um, with regards to you know my hair and getting ready and just quickly show how to put it on and just a few things that I love about it. So you all know I'm hair obsessed. I mean, I wouldn't be doing this line of work if I wasn't just obsessed with just hair itself. I really feel that it just, completely changes really how we look and I think that it really adds to our confidence so my halo is going to go underneath my hair I love big hair there is a lot of hair on here there is no way in the world I could get this much bonded into my head or clipped right into my hair without some form of traction alopecia as a result not to mention migraines headaches and just a general real feeling of being so super uncomfortable this sits on my head it's super comfortable i can wear it for 10 12 hours a day and it doesn't even bother me in the slightest to me it's my hair it might not be growing out of my head but you know what it's still mine and i love it and i really wouldn't be without it so this is how i put it on so what I do is I part where I'm going to part, so my side, and then I section off going around like this, about that much. So I, t I leave quite a lot of hair up, really, because I'm going to use that hair to go over the halo band. Now, my ladies I know have hair loss, and that is where you would then put the top piece on to replace what I've done. So even if you want a halo and you have hair loss, you still need to do this step. Any hair you have on the top, doesn't matter how thin it is, put it up and get it out of the way like this. Then you get your um, hair on a wire, halo, flip, whatever you want to call it. There's different trademark names for each and every one. Mine is hair on a wire, but I, I call it halo out of habit, but I, I'm not affiliated with the halo company. They are their own company. So hair on a wire like this goes all the way round. I make them myself. I make them I make them wider than other companies do because I've bought from these other companies and they tend to stop about there which means all your little short bits poke out the front but with mine they go wider and round here and round there which means I think this one's about 13 inches wide and what that means is my hair looks like it starts from there and from then I think that really makes a difference but these other companies they i think try to sort of save cost and they're, they're like 10 inches wide I've, I've bought from them before and that's the problem that i've encountered anyhow so then you let down your own hair that goes over the top which goes all the way around and hides basically it hides the band and then i'm going to talk in a second what you would do if you have hair loss okay so then you just get like a comb like this is really really useful like this like that, like that, like that, all the way. And as I'm doing it, I'm sort of using my nail, my finger to just pull out any trapped hairs. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. You see that little bit there that was stuck? That's it, that's all I've done. It's on, it's ready, I feel myself, I feel my, well myself, it's another video. I feel my way all the way around, make sure it's covering and not poofing up. Can you see? So look at all that extra hair that it has given me. I mean, I could never ever in my wildest dreams get hair like this, this long and this thick. I mean, I could probably grow it this long, but there is no way in the world it will be this thick. So it's poofing up slightly here, but that's nothing to do with the piece. It's just because I slept on it like that all night. So, and it's dirty. So I'm just gonna spray it down, flatten it down. It's my own hair doing that, not the piece underneath. And then I'm gonna just all over spray because it's poofy. Okay, and then just use my comb and flatten. And I love this stuff, got to be glued hairspray. So what I do is I like to give myself a bit of a wet look. Now I won't bore you by doing my entire hair on video, but I'll do a little bit on this side just to show you. So I love this Tresemme heat defense spray. And what I, oh, <laughs> got myself in the eye don't do that so I kind of wear everything all together plus I want to really want to flatten down that annoying bit there and then I run my fingers through it at this point I want to stop brushing it because I've got really frizzy Greek hair and it will frizz it more then what I do is I as it's still wet from the Tresemme 
I go to town on the hairspray and what it's done is it's given me a bit of a wet, wet look. Think of me as trying to copy the Kim K wet look, although I love that woman, I'm like completely obsessed with her. Um, anyhow, so it's given me that look. And then what I do is I also love this tong. It's Babyliss Pro, but what I love it, and I actually use it to style your guys' pieces as well. I love it because it's square, so your curl doesn't come out like you're a 12 year old girl with ringlets. It comes out like your beach goddess with um, textured waves. So I'll show you. I love it so, so much. So, because my hair's feeling a bit crunchy and a bit sticky from the product, what this does is it gives it a square curl. Now, I'm gonna leave that. You can see it's it's quite a textured curl. And then when I then run my fingers through it, you'll see how amazing it's gonna be. But I, I don't wanna bore you by making the video long and doing all my hair. So I'll do a couple more bits. But while I'm doing it, I wanna say, now this is the point where you're probably all thinking, do you know what, it's all very well, you've put the halo in, it looks lovely, you've got loads of hair to go over the top. Andrea, you work with ladies with hair loss, what the hell are we supposed to do? It's all very well you're doing your own hair, but you know what about us? And don't worry ladies, uh, you know you know I've got you back. What you would then do at this point, okay, so you, you've got thinning hair, you've clipped up the top half, you've put in your halo, and of course you're not gonna have enough hair along the top to hide the bands at, 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 the, at the bottom. That's fine, I understand that, I know that. You're gonna turn around and you're gonna see the band showing through. I get that, okay? But there's no reason why you can't have length and lots of hair and lots of thickness. There is no reason why you can't. All you would then do at this point is clip on your top piece. Now you know I'm not famous, but I'm very well known for my top pieces. So. You can, if you're on a budget, go for a lace base closure, but get a five by five at least. So it's what big enough at the top to cover everything. Or if you're gonna get a silk, which you know I prefer, you know they're the premium, that's what all my videos are on. I naturally gravitate towards, you know, loving what I think my ladies love best and what I love best. The five by six, 150 density is the one to get if you wanna wear it with the halo because it's full coverage all the way along the top is going to cover everything the idea is we want to cover this we want to cover this band and the five by six is what is going to cover it because not only is it big enough base the six inches is perfect so even if the wind blows a bit you've still got more hair and it's thicker so you can you're never going to get all of this hair with a closure. You'll cover your top bit and you'll get a good amount of hair. You will never get hair like this. If you want to be hair greedy, like my ladies like to say, and you want the big, big hair, then that's fine. You can still get a halo, but you need to have um, a top piece to go on the top of it as well. So I'm going to just... I mean, for those of you that are, you know, on a time limit, that's honestly it for this video. But for those of you who are curious to see the end result, I'm going to just finish off this side of my hair. So what I want to do is I want to grab pieces of my hair and pieces of the halo at the same time. What that does is that's going to stop like the short hair looking different from the long hair because we want it all to look the same. So because it's got product in it, I don't need to hold it too long. So five, four, three, two, one. And then I let go. You can see that my curls have got a bit of a texture. I love the square look. Then I sort of grab from underneath because the underneath bits are always the giveaway. You see that? That is a no, no. That is a no, no. So you sort of make it sticky. So they stick together and then you just Round, 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 round. And you see how now that's together. Do you see? Hello. I love hiding, you know, hair. I love, my favourite thing to do is just to make hair, fake hair, look so super real. And you can already see the difference between that side and that side, which I haven't styled. That's such a giveaway because the texture's different. And then you see how this side is just perfect so I'll style that when I'm done with the video so I don't bore you and then what I do you remember that was the first curl that I did just to show you how much I love this hair tongue look at how nice the curls then go when you run your fingers through them see 
and it spread it out it makes it really beach wavy do not use a hairbrush from this point beyond you brush it before you get started then you spray then you curl then you run your fingers look how i'm doing like that i'm just running my fingers through and then look that side of my hair is done i would to be honest put a little bit of root powder there just to make it look really compact that side's not done but i don't want like a half an hour long video that's my link from the back i love it so so much so if you want to get big amazing long hair like this you need a hey so i've got something halo you need a hair and a wire underneath and then you need a top piece on the top the, the two together are going to look amazing. You're going to have a really nice thick amount of hair on the top and then you're going to have the length for underneath. And you know what? It doesn't have to be for every day, but you might have a really special occasion, a really you know special wedding you want to go and you just want to come in there with amazing hair. You might have a backless dress that you just want long hair going down. Hair loss doesn't mean you can't get great hair. It just means you've got to get a little bit more creative and a little bit more clever with how to just you know use pieces to style it and I refuse to give up on comfort. I would never clip this much amount of hair into my hair or I would never bond it in. I would never use glue. If I had to, I would use tape, but I prefer it just to sit. It's so comfortable, I promise. Um, so that's it for today. I hope it's been of some help and that's it. Enjoy your Sunday. I'm off shopping. I'm giving myself a day off. I haven't had one in, I don't know, months. I don't even know what I'm going to buy. Bye.